Let's get Aiden to just skate and do a turn around that puck. Aiden, go ahead, do a turn and come back. Let's have a look at him. Okay, let's do it again. Go ahead, Aiden. Okay, great. So now, if Aiden comes over here, the head is connected to this pelvis. Okay, guys? That's one thing that I actually realized was a small detail, but a huge detail. If I, relax, okay, Aiden? If I crank Aiden's neck, eventually his feet are going to turn. This is a secret to centrifugal motion, right here, that motion. Okay? Sprinters, you teach them, have a relaxed neck, relaxed head. A sprinter who's locked because they're trying to win, doesn't win. Okay? As a player is approaching, when Aiden comes about here, pretend you're, you're turning, you stand right here in the position. The longer his head stays here, the more his head fights his pelvis. He has to initiate the turn with his neck. Okay? Because if his neck goes, his chest will follow, and the third part of the spinal cord, head, upper skeleton, is your pelvis. I'm not even trying to turn my feet, but in turning that, my feet turn. Okay? I got to give Aiden credit. His outside edge on his left leg was spectacular. Okay? Show us your outside edge on that left leg, on that leg there. Turn it. Great. Okay? And if you look at that, any kid, if you watch a beginner, he's had some good coaching, you could tell, most kids come in and they turn and that edge is locked. If you, if you actually have a look at your players, that edge is locked because they're just tense. It's not natural to relax your ankles. A baby, when they learn how to walk, the whole point of teaching a baby to walk is because they're like this. And you got to teach them to tighten the ankles. This movement of getting on an outside edge is actually relaxation, believe it or not. So what you're telling a kid is, I want you to go full blast at the puck and right when you get there, I want you to relax the smallest muscle in your body. Relax your edge and come around. That's not easy for a kid to do.